This episode, we're going to be looking at the T6 Tal Shiar Adapted Destroyer Mandukar class. Uh, I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but whatever. <laughs> uh, as you saw yesterday, I came out with an episode of Fresh Out of Space Dock giving a uh, cinematic look at this ship. And uh, today, we are going to be looking at the different skin and shield visuals that uh, can be applied to this ship. So uh, let's just jump right into this. All right, so here we are in the ship Taylor on Earth space dock. And uh, right off the bat, this thing is monstrous. Uh, nowhere near the size or the J. Actually, you know what? I haven't even compared it to a J, but it looks pretty big. Uh, right off the bat, the material that it's loaded with is Adapted Romulan, uh, which is the skin that you saw in the Fresh Out of Space Dock video. And there's only two other options to select. So there's the Adapted Romulan, there's the Augmented Romulan, which, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say is, gives it like kind of a washed out grayish green look. Hard to say. And the last option is Enhanced Romulan, which is a, another green variant. But, uh, yeah, very spiky. I would not want to uh, accidentally fly into one of these because uh, somebody's going to lose an eye. Uh, there's color palettes here, but it doesn't seem that anything's really changing. Um... So I'm again. This is on Tribble, so this is all subject to change. Um, a buddy of mine, Proteus, found this in the uh, the low buy store and told me about it. I'm like, well, if it's in the low buy store, I might as well get it and do a video of it. Uh, the ship is currently uh, available on console. Uh, should be coming to PC users soon. TM question uh, mark. I have no idea when. I just I saw the ship. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Some people have asked for Romulan ships. I finally got my hands on a Romulan ship. So here we are. Uh, it is, uh, this does come with a uh, bridge. Um, I'm not sure if other ships have this bridge. Um, but uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, I was able to take some demo record footage, but uh, with the song that I had chosen and the kind of mood that I had set, with like this dark ominous setting that I was trying to give with this ship. Uh, I didn't really have a uh, spot to put it, nor did I think that it really fit in. But with Doc 47, I get the opportunity to use um, footage that I don't necessarily get to use in the Fresh Out of Space Dock videos. So uh, yeah, uh, from here, we're gonna jump up to Earth Space Dock real quick. We're just gonna take a look to see if there's any Enterprise J's. Um, and then just briefly, quickly take a look at the console, and I'm going to show you the animations for that. Uh, all right, let's do that now. So uh, I was able to find somebody online who has an Enterprise J. Uh, they'll be up any second, but while we wait, let's take a look at the T5 mastery trait that comes with the ship. Uh, the T5 mastery trait is called uh, Synergistic Tactical Systems. Uh, cannon rapid fire, surgical strikes, and reroute reserves to weapons. Increase starship particle generators and starship crowd, sorry, starship control expertise skills. Um, so take that as you will. And then we have the enhanced shrapnel torpedo launcher. Uh, this gives plus three percent critical chance and uh, launches. It creates nine level 61 shrapnel torpedoes, each split into four miniature projectiles, dealing 378.4 kinetic damage times four, 50% shield pen. Total damage estimate equals 13,622.4 kinetic damage with 50% shield pen divided among the nine targets, two minute recharge. Uh, so that's the console. It also comes with a, uh, with a warp core, not a singularity core. Uh, and it comes with the uh, Tal Shiar Adapted Borg Warp Core. Uh, so I will leave that up on the screen for a quick minute for you to take a look at. And, or you can press pause, that works too. So here we are. 
There's the J. And our Atal Shar adapted battle cruiser. I was uh, luck lucky enough that uh, after I popped out of the tailor, uh, my buddy Tankia was over at the ship selector. I think he's working on a on a special build for the new STF coming with season 13. But there's a side profile, so. Uh, definitely not as long if you're starting at the back of the nacelles. Like it looks, like, looks like this thing is the length of one of the nacelles on the J. <laughs> uh, so there's your size comparison. And as you see, we have an Avenger just over here. But uh, yeah, there's your size comparison. And we're going to go ahead and go to the next segment of this which is the shield of visual effects at the Dyson Sphere. Alright so here we are in the Dyson Sphere which is uh, is now my go-to place for doing this part of uh, the video and uh, here we see with the, uh, with the here we see the ship with the default skin. Uh, let's start going through all the different shields. And of course I'm missing one because I haven't been able to get them yet. But what can you do? The Delta Alliance shield. The adapted Mako shield. The Iconian Shield. As you can see, I'm having a hard time framing this ship, and I think it's because of the arms that are dipping down. But uh, I'll try and do my best here for you to be able to see this ship with all the visual effects. The Lucari Shield. The Assimilated Shield. The Temporal Shield. The Omega Shield. The Terran Task Force Shield. The Counter Command Shield. The Dyson Shield Array. The Romulan Advanced Prototype Shield. The Riemann Advanced Prototype Shield. 
And can I just say that it looks like somebody pimped my ride and chromed it all out. Holy crap. <laughs> Exhibit called. He wants his chrome back. <laughs> The Nukara Shield. That is all the shields that I have uh, available to me right now. I know I'm missing the Jem'Hadar. I'm not exactly sure where that shield went. And I know that I am missing the, uh, the Aegis shield array as well um but i will make a uh, a uh, effort at some point to try and get those shields um but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please uh hit that like button if you're new here uh, hit the subscribe button and let me know down in the comments section what visual effects you guys like the most on this ship and uh that'll be it for me on this episode of uh doc 47 Catch you guys in the next video. Good night.